Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. In this video we have really interesting, quick, relaxing and satisfying algebra question 3 divided by 3 plus 3 divided by 3. On the first side this is a very simple question, everyone know about division, addition, we have once more division right here on the right hand side, so everyone know this mess operation, everyone know what is this number, we have all the time 3, which is like not a hard and complicated question, this is on the first side, yeah? So right here I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, we have right here three options A, B and C, so it's not like five or six options, only three options, very simple question, so let's check our school knowledge, our math skill right here and of course we'll check our answers here in just in just one minute, so I suggest you to pause the video and write your option down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to check our answers. So here's our question, three divided by three, I just wanted to rewrite this question real quick, so we have we have three divided by divided by three plus three divided by 3. So here is our question. I want to start with first solution. One part of students solve it like that. They say, okay, we have a complicated expression, we don't have parentheses, so we just need to start from left to right real quick, so let's start with this division. So we have 3 divided by 3 equal to 1, and we still have this expression, so 1 plus 3 divided by, divided by 3. After this expression we have this one, let's go once more from left to right, so we have 1 plus 3 equal to 4, and 4 with this division, so 4 divided by 3, we can write it in a fraction way, so this is 4 over 3. We have this option, this is, looks like option C, so one part of students solve this question like that. I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, I don't want to explain this uh, this case, but I wanted to, you to know that this case, uh, some part, one part of students solve it like that. Is it correct or not correct? Let's try to figure out how can we solve this uh, in another way. As you can see right here, we just go from left to right and we don't care about what it is, op what it operation it is. So addition, division, so we don't care about it, we just go from left to right. Let's try to look at this PMDMC order of operation, because obviously whatever order of operation you select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. Right here I have been DMC, this is the most popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And in our case, let's try to apply this rule right here in our in our solution. So let's let's try to look at it. And of course we will check with this for cert. Maybe for cert is a correct answer. Let's try to look at it. So we have this question 3 divided by divided by 3 plus 3 divided by divided by 3. So this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom and now let's go to the first step. First step, parentheses. Let's look at it. Where do we have this parentheses right here? I don't see any parentheses, we don't have any parentheses, so we just we just skip this part. It's really great because with parentheses this question will be like more complicated. So our question, the next step, exponents. What about exponents? Where do we have these square scoops right here? No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any of these uh, steps, so we just don't have exponent, which, really, which is really great because with exponents this question will be like more complicated and with parentheses as well. So we skip this part and it's brilliant. Okay, the next step. The next step, multiplication, and a lot of students do this common mistake, they say multiplication, they try to find multiplication sign at first. But we need to look at this in perspective of a group, so multiplication and division, this is one common group. And we need to look at it as a, as a group, yeah? Where do we have multiplication and division signs? Let's look at it. So we have uh, division sign, we need this expression, and we have uh, addition, this is not our case, and we have once more division. So our case, this multiplication and division part. In our case we don't have any multiplication part, we have division part, so we need to start from this division. Let's look at it. 3 divided by 3 equal to 1, and we have plus right here, and 3 divided by 3 equal to equal to 1. So as a result 1 plus 1 equal to equal to 2, yeah? And we have this option, option B. So as you can see completely different answer with this 4 over 3. And here is our main question, which is the correct answer? What is the correct approach? And of course my answer is the next one. This is a correct order of operation, we solve it correctly step by step and we mention, we mention this step right here, we go from with division, we start with division, then addition as you can see right here, addition and subtraction, this is last step, so we need to add at first, then you can easily divide. So we had addition, we don't have subtraction, so we just did this addition, 
but after after division as you can see on this pmdmc so this is absolutely correct solution well, let's go to this solution this is very bad solution but one part of students all like that they go from left to right they think that this is absolutely like easy question so they go from left to right as you can see division addition this is very bad mistake to start to continue with addition and the last step is of course absolutely wrong because we continue after this wrong step so for cert this is absolutely wrong solution but one part of students solve it like that and our correct answer is option option b is a correct answer i write it here our answer this is option option b is a correct a correct solution to this question so i hope you understand this explanation and moreover i hope your answer is the same as mine which is which is really great so i wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures thank you for your time and have a great day